All right, last technique for this morning. We're doing the back triangle. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a triangle when we have our opponent's back. Let's scoot back a tiny bit. Right there should be fine. All right, so start with the hooks. Start with your basic seat belt position. So I'm over the shoulder on one side, under the other. I always am typically covering the choking side. We're again, the over side is gonna be the one I choke him with. So I cover that hand. He's gonna need to bring his hands up to defend. That's gonna give me the grips that I'm gonna look for when I'm doing this uh, back triangle. So I'm gonna start pulling him back. And the choking side is gonna control his wrist. The under side is gonna grab onto my own wrist. So I'm getting this Kimura style grip. Now, once I have my Kimura grip, I'm going to continue like staying tight on my chin on the shoulder, ear next to his ear. And I need to start climbing my legs up my partner. So I'm going to start retracting my hooks and start stepping on his hips. And as I continue laying, I'm going to start falling to the side that my head is on. I'm going to start pressing it on his hip to drive him down. And I'm going to keep scooting him low enough so I can pass my heel up and over his shoulder. And my heel is going to kind of dig into where his bicep is. This is going to kind of start creating, like if you've done the bow and arrow and the gi, I'm kind of trying to create that bow and arrow type position. Now, once I get to here, I can actually start to remove his head from the lock that I have so that now I only have a Kimura lock right now. Now I continue shoving him lower and lower. And I'm going to climb this leg up and across my partner's stomach. As soon as I start bringing this leg over his shoulder, uh, sorry, over his like chest and stomach area, then I'm going to start driving him to the opposite side. I want to lock the triangle on the side that I have his arm trapped. So I'm pulling his arm tight stepping on the ground, rolling him over now to this opposite side. So now the side that I have the Kimura is on the top side. And now I need to start wrapping this leg around his neck. Already the back of my knee is kind of like biting into the side of his neck right here. Now my other knee is going to start driving, almost like I'm trying to knee him in the face. And that's going to give me that chance to start locking this triangle. And all, I can tell it's definitely going to be tight already once I start squeezing. That's where I'm going to get that finish. Um, the really cool thing about this triangle is if I'm trying to lock at all, he's going to probably use his other hand to try and defend, like pulling on my legs or something. So if I'm having a difficult time locking because of his hand, like pull on my leg normally like that, I can't lock it, then I just try to transition into an arm bar. So the arm bar and the back triangle are going to be like best friends. We have to try to like kind of work them together to be able to have one or the other. So again, I'm going to start on his back, lay on the side that my head is on. That's the side that I also have the Kimura. I start pressing on his hip, getting him lower, wrap my leg over the top. And I'm using that to also force him lower, start stripping his head free so I only have his arm trapped. I start scooting him down. If I want to go directly to the arm bar, I can already just go directly into it from here. But I want to start with that thread of the back triangle. The back triangle is going to be a very strong position. So I'm just trying to wrap it over his, his stomach, start to roll him to this opposite side. So that now the side that I have that Kimura locked in is the side that I'm going to be trying to lock this triangle here. I start squeezing everything tight. Sometimes you'll get everything locked. Maybe the guy isn't tapping. So what I'll do is I'll start to sit up. And this is the only time I'll let go of the Kimura. I don't want to let go prematurely. If I let go and do this, I'm going to lose the opportunity to do the triangle and lose the opportunity to do the arm bar. So keep that Kimura grip just in case anything goes wrong. I can go to that arm bar. But let's say I have it fully locked now. Now it's safe for me to let go. I can start sitting up. I actually want to just try and get my lock even further out to the side of his body. I'm going to scoot my butt backwards and start pulling my shin so I can bring his, or my, my shin underneath my partner's uh, chin a little bit more. If I can, I can even grab onto my own heel. But as I scoot back and do that, it's going to start cinching it a lot, up a lot more. And now as I start squeezing this submission, I should be able to get a really strong finish. And then from this triangle, I also have the arm bar. I can, while I have it tri triangle locked, I can also just arm bar him here too in case maybe you're trying to finish it. It's not working. So again, always that arm bar and the triangle are going to go together hand in hand. Um, this usually will happen when I'm trying to choke my partner and I'll use my foot to trap his arm. Maybe I'm trying to choke him here. If he starts slipping his head free, maybe I'm just yeah, getting too low. That actually will help me set up this triangle and then I can start locking everything in and finish it right here from the back. Thanks.